previously on Alienated. If you've got something on your mind, you need to tell me about it, okay? What's your feeling about alien abduction? We've all heard about houses that are haunted by ghosts. But what about a house that's haunted by aliens? That's what one Victoria family is claiming. What's going on? They're here to get abducted. Wait a minute, I recognize you. No, I doubt that. It's George Takai from Star Trek. Okay, yes, I am. And it's Takei. Mr. Treehorn is an expert on alien abduction. This is about your sperm? It glowed. Thank God I had my tubes tied. You want to see me? Yeah. Come in. Shut the door. Listen, Roger. Not such good news. We're letting you go. I don't understand. You can't come to work here anymore. This hasn't got anything to do with that whole alien thing, does it? It pretty much has everything to do with the whole alien thing. Nick, come on. That was just a huge misunderstanding blown out of proportion by a tabloid. Nobody believes those stories. It kind of goes beyond that, Raj. That's when the owner of the house started a bidding war. The uh, last bid was $500. I'll give you 600. 1,000. 1,200. Doesn't anybody else want a chance to get abducted by the aliens? It's a hell of a ride, believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Remember last time when you told people that you and your family had been abducted by aliens? That was a mistake. I never should have said... Yeah, you promised me it wouldn't happen again. You even said yourself that it's crucial that our clients take the sales staff seriously. But it didn't happen again. I never said anything, honestly. That was just an act. I was just distracting the crowd so that my, my kids could sneak George Takai into the house. Sulu, from Star Trek. Uh-huh. Don't worry. It'll be all forgotten in a week. People will still take me seriously. I have to be honest with you, Roger. People really didn't take you seriously before. Nick, come on. Please. Just give me another chance. People will take me seriously, I promise. Roger. Right. Abnormal frequencies are battling my mind. There's no mistake in this thing is shaking me up inside. Feels a bit peculiar standing in the crowd With my experience, too much interference to bring it down So in your feelings Pray away, pray away You know what, guys? There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Can you fire someone just because they believe in something that you don't? I mean, isn't that discrimination? Couldn't you file a wrongful dismissal suit? Yeah, maybe if he was good at his job, but I mean, his sales numbers were consistently subpar. We all know who's responsible for that, don't we? Because I'll tell you, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have been so distracted and I wouldn't have had to miss work so often. Christ. You think I'm stupid? You think I don't know what you're talking about? Fortunately, it's not that big a deal. People lose their jobs all the time. I never lost a job. Not one. We're really good enough to sell the house now, aren't we? I am not going back to that motel. There are plenty of opportunities out there. It's just a matter of weighing the options and then making the right decision. Dad, I don't want to rain on your parade, but the unemployment rate has risen for the last three months in a row. And it doesn't help that you're not young anymore. Or that you were fired from your last job for being a lunatic. Okay, thank you. I feel much better. Sarah, 
Would you like to add anything? Like maybe the fact that I never got my college diploma? You didn't? Pack your things. I'm sorry? Oh, man. Roger. Mm. Honey, don't you think it's about time to get up? No. You don't want the kids to see you like this, do you? They haven't gone to school yet? I mean, when they come home from school. It's almost 3 o'clock. Oh. I've been thinking, you know, maybe you shouldn't go back into sales. I wasn't that bad at it, you know. I know you weren't, but you never loved it. And I think that now that you have some time, you should start thinking about doing something you're really passionate about. But I don't have the time, Sarah. Where's the money going to come from? Well, we have some savings that we could borrow from, and uh, I could go back to work. Well, it's not that big a deal. I can just hear them all talking. He lost his job, and now his wife is forced to go out and get a job to support the family. Who's going to say that? All our friends. We don't have any friends, remember? They all think we're insane. What? I'm trying to make you feel better. You know what would really make you feel better? Oh, Roger. Something I love to do. Well, it's not so great for me. Not while your sperm is mutant. Your tubes are tied. And radioactive. Your sperm's not radioactive. Does it still glow? Maybe. Well, then, you know we can't have sex. But everything else is going to be OK. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's Alien Man. What? Been abducted lately, Alien Man? I suppose so. Why else would you look like that? Hey, do you stick pros up your ass and stuff? Okay, listen. Don't know if you heard this or not, but we weren't abducted by aliens. Oh, really? I didn't know. I thought you really had been abducted. Shouldn't you kids be at school? Shouldn't you be at work? OK. Run along now. I think there's a puppy up the street that needs to be terrorized. You don't have a job, do you? Actually, I'm between jobs, OK? Well, your family must be real proud. Have you seen Mom? No. Have you seen any food? I hope she's shopping. Oh, he brought out the guitar? Yep. Dad, have you seen Mom? Who? Your wife? No. Hey, check this out. Alien man. Alien man, alien man, alien man, alien man. Hey, Dad. Yeah, nice lyrics. She didn't say where she went. Who? Mom. Does it really matter? It's not like we have any control of our own lives, let alone hers. Just like helpless specks of sand. Specks of sand. Specks of sand. Specks of sand. Mom? What are you doing? Oh. I was, uh, just... Is that a lemon? Yes. 
Are you okay? I'm fine. Why? You're eating a lemon. An entire lemon. I know. What's wrong with me? It's okay. Come on. Are you actually hungry or are you just bored with your life? No, I'm hungry. Really, really hungry. How much have you eaten today? A box of cereal, uh, two loaves of bread, everything in the vegetable crisper, a watermelon, and um, a sack of potatoes. Maybe it's something to do with your hormones. You know, like menopause. I'm not menopausal. Not just food I'm eating. What do you mean? This morning, I ate a bouquet of flowers. Oh. How long has this been happening? About a week now. But nothing like today. Could the aliens be trying to fatten her up? Fatten me up? You mean like to eat her? Maybe. Yeah. I haven't gained any weight. Honestly. And I don't think that the aliens have... Alien man, alien man. Go on. I've never heard of aliens eating humans. But it's a possibility, isn't it? I mean, to them, we're just another species, like, like deer or halibut. And we do have meat on our bones, right? Well, yes, but... Or maybe it's just another experiment. Because in order to find out everything about us, they would want to know how we taste, right? That's right. He's saying they don't want to eat me, okay? <sighs> Go on. Yes, um, the lack of weight gain suggests that... Alien man. Alien man, alien man. Roger, please, stop. I'm trying to find out what the aliens have done to me. Well, it's all about you, isn't it? Well, what about me? What about what the aliens have done to me? Those bastards have ruined my life. And I don't see anyone trying to do anything about that. Sorry about that. Go on. The only thing I can think of is that you have some sort of parasite in your system devouring the food you eat. You mean a tapeworm? Yes. Ew. Well, so it's not alien related then? Oh no, it's alien. No earthbound organisms could have this effect without making you violently ill. Well, how do we get it out? Are you sure you want to? Because it'd be valuable to monitor- Yes, I'm sure. Now, what do we do? I assume I'm gonna need some kind of operation. But we don't want anybody to find out what's inside me. Do you know people who would do this type of thing? You could just go to a doctor and get some medication for a tapeworm. Oh. But I would ask that when the parasite is voided from your system that you save it for me. To study. I'm Larry Coyle from down the street. My son, Luther, here, says that you threw a, a garbage can lid at, at him. I didn't even hit him with it, unfortunately. What the hell kind of man picks on a 10-year-old kid? Hey, he was the one that was picking on me. He was calling me names, he made fun of me, and quite frankly, I didn't appreciate it. You should teach him some manners. Are you trying to say that I, I'm not bringing my kid up right? I'm saying that he should learn to show some respect. Oh, why should he have respect for you? You're a goddamn lunatic. You should be ashamed of yourself, telling everyone your family was abducted by aliens? Yeah, well, at least my kids aren't possessed by the devil. You better take that back, pal, and apologize to Luther while you're at it. No, I'm not apologizing. That little shit should be apologizing to me. Okay, that's it. Outside. Now, outside? You want to go outside? I am outside. I want you to come outside so I can teach you not to mess with my kid. Fine. Fine. 
Here? No. Front lawn. Fine. All right, Dad. Let this loser have it. Remember, take it to the body. Uh. Yeah, come on! Yeah. No, no, no! Stand your feet! Come on! Throw a punch! Let him go! Throw that door, you bastard! This might as well get you to a hotel room! Mom! Oh my god, Dad! Get on your feet and hit him! Let go! Oh, that's great. Needs his wife and kids to protect him. Shut up, Luther, you little freak! I'm the freak? That's rich. I think you should go now. Such a hole. That's right. Just let it out. Anytime, Dad. Doorknob. We're ignoring him. Let's go. This isn't over, Alien Man. You hear me? Not by a long shot. I told you, stay in your feet. What has gotten into you? Hey, he's the one that started it. Him and that little demon child of his. You are the one acting like a child. For God's sake, you should hear yourself. It's pathetic. Thanks. That's really lifting my spirits. I don't care about your spirits right now, okay? Your children need you. They look up to you. They need you to rise above your own problems and show them that despite everything that is happening to us, that life still goes on. They look up to me? Yes. Are you sure? Just get it together. Hi, I need to see a doctor. Have you been here before? No, I don't think so. Are you sure I recognize you? Are you on TV? No. I know. You're with that family that thought they'd been abducted by aliens. It was on the news, right? No. It's not me. Well, what seems to be the problem? Well, I think I might have a tapeworm. Rug burn? Tapeworm. When was your last bowel movement? Pardon me? When was the last time you went poo? Isn't that something I should be talking to a doctor about? I need you to fill out these forms so we can run some tests. Tests? Is that really necessary? My friend told me that I could just come in and get some medication that would make it go away. Is your friend a medical doctor? No. Do you want a doctor here to help you? Yes. Then we need to run the tests. Fill it out, please. Hello, Dr. Fu. How are you today? Did you say food? Fu. I've been looking at your test results here. No ordinary tapeworm, huh? Uh, it's not tapeworm. You're pregnant. But that's impossible. I had my tubes tied. Someone didn't do a very good job then because they're untied now. They untied my tubes? Sorry? My husband and I, we don't have sex. I haven't let him near me in months. Uh-huh. Do you know when the last time was? Right after his sperm started. Uh, I guess that was only about seven or eight weeks ago. And your last period? Oh, my God. There you go. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to run the tests again. There's some sort of a glitch with our system. Some of the results, well, they make no sense at all. It's just a problem with the equipment. I mean, it has to be. Oh, I really have to be somewhere right now. So I'll just come back a little later. Are, are you sure? Because it'll just take a minute. No, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Thank you, though. Handle. 
pressure of the day. And I find that almost a relaxing exercise. So that's what drew me to it. Um, I've been doing it for a number of years, led in by my family, and, you know, that's the way it went. The only thing I'm thinking about is that little yellow spot in the middle of the target end. That's it. How'd it Nothing go? Nothing else comes into your mind at that point. Oh, it's very important to keep your fine. Head I mean, so you got it taken care of? Shooter, and it's, it's taken care of? Tapeworm. I find it more oh. exciting. Well, yes. Kind of Tapeworm? Like yeah. Like being mom has an alien parasite in her system. Are you okay, Mom? You don't look so good. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, hi. Hi. I need to talk to you. Wow, Dad, what's the occasion? Did you get a new job already? You could say that. Doing what? I'm taking your mother's advice. Pursuing a line of work that I am passionate about. As you know, I've always been a, a big fan of music. When I was younger, uh, all I wanted to do was play music. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow my heart and become a professional musician. I know it seems like the absolute wrong time to be taking a chance like this. And yes, it's going to mean making some sacrifices, but I really think it's the right thing to do. Because you know what? We can't let the aliens get us down. We have to ignore them and get on with our lives. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think the worst of this is over. They've abducted us all now. What more do they want? And you know what else? I think that despite all the problems they caused us, we're better people because of this experience. At least I know I am. What'd you want to tell me, Sarah? <laughs> Nothing. Next time on Alienated.